fellas, welcome to another exciting episode of 16 Pitch. Somebody commented on uh, my previous video, aren't you going to the bins anymore? And I said like, well, I do, but things have been very slow at the bins. Found this Digimon uh, figure. Found this really scruffy uh, Pantor. Almost complete. I might uh, take off all the flocking so that it just turns into a black battle cat. Found part of a crash dummy car, crash test dummy car. And found this weird uh, bouncy ball. Now that's a weird bouncy ball, no? Who would give that to children? <laughs> I found some other little bits and bobs, you know, some Lego, some a turtle sword or something, but really it's been slow cooking at the beans. I did a little trader rooney. With my buddy Retro Mickey82. Um, He's one of the people who always comments on, on my video. Thank you very much. And this is already the second trade we did, I believe. I gave him um, for the Mega, Drive, Mega CD uh, Echo the Dolphin CD and two Dragon Ball figures. And he sent my way uh, a copy of Super Widget for the USA SNES and a copy of Mario's Tennis for the Virtual Boy. I don't have a Virtual Boy yet, but this is a good start. It was kind of sad, he sent it my way and the Belgian post fucked up and they just sent it back because they said I didn't pay the import tax, but they never sent me a message that I should pay the import tax, so we had to pay shipping twice. Thanks again for that, buddy. And then I have a whole stack of games. Uh, me and my wife went to Brussels, just a weekend with the two of us. Went to the cinemas, I watched everything, everywhere, all at once. Awesome movie, go check it out if you can. And we were actually not that far from a Pele Mele store, which is like a chain of media stores in Brussels, secondhand media stores. This one I don't go to a lot. Well, I don't go to a lot of them anymore because I used to work frequently in Brussels, but that's no longer the case. Uh, but this one is a little bit outside of Brussels. So I picked up, and there was actually some decent stuff. They have like glass cases, but they put the newer stuff in front. And behind that, there were some hidden hidden games. And I don't think they checked the prices recently because I, I thought it was all pretty cheap. This is a Japanese Famicom game, Musashi no Ken, uh, which is a platformer slash uh, fighting game. Looks kind of fun and it was only six euros for a boxed copy. Why not? Uh, Mighty Bomb Jack, uh, 10 euros, also for the Famicom. This was released in the West, but I don't have it yet. So cool to have a Famicom copy. No manual, however. <clears throat> this, I do already have a... <laughs> Mega Drive copy, but I just couldn't leave it behind. Uh, Primal Rage without manual, 10 euros. And then it was 20, but it's okay. It's one of those uh, fighting games I will probably never ever buy on the AES because it's easy, a 500 plus euro game these days. So I prefer to pay 20 20 uh Euro to get it on the CD. I don't think it has the spine card. Let's check. No, no spine card. This is the last game in the World Hero series and it's supposed to be the best game. Cool. And then um, one of the DS games I didn't have. I have the original one, Project Love, I believe, on the, was the launch title? for the <clears throat> DS and this is the sequel the Rub Rabbits so yeah pretty pretty, get, pretty glad I found this you don't see this one too often to be honest 
Another game I also don't see an awful lot. And it was 10 euros, so once again, decent price is Psycho Pinball. I don't know why it's Psycho Pinball, but I love me some pinball games and this one is complete, so why not? The box is in French, that you don't see that all too often. And then there was this guy on Facebook selling off his MSX collection and clearly he didn't check recent prices. So everything was priced pretty decently. Uh, however, that also meant that <laughs> other people were like way ahead of me and the, the, the advertisement was on online for like half a day and almost all the games that I wanted were gone. I was able to pick out some uh, some gems, uh, Gradius 2 or Nemesis 2 with this dude on the back. This is a European version, not Japanese version. Then um, Darwin 4087, 78. <laughs> This one is complete, I hope. I haven't checked actually. Yeah, it's pretty complete. I have it on the Mega Drive as well, so I doubt this will be a good version. But to be honest, it was like, I think this one was 30 euros. So it's not the, the greatest game ever. It's a side-scrolling shooter. And this one I'm pretty happy with. It was 60 euros, but it's the very first Valis game, of course. Um, yeah, look at that, such an amazing case. It's the Japanese version, but I don't know, somebody imported it and they uh, made a photocopy like English uh, manual. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Cartridge is here. I don't know if the game itself will be in English, I doubt it, but it's mostly a platformer, so I'll be all right. And look at that cover art. This is the original version of Valis. And then today I was working at home, so I went to the cash converters and I saw a game. I know I said I wouldn't collect modern games anymore, but I saw a game I'd never seen actually before. And I, I actually didn't remember that it existed. Tick and Tag Tournament 2, the Wii U edition. I actually didn't even know there was a Tick and Tag Tournament 2, but look at this. You can play as Mario in Tekken and Luigi, and they look so badass here. So yeah, I and it was 12 euros. According to eBay, it's, I don't know for sure, but it's like a 40, 50 euro game. You almost see no copies sold or uh, copies available. So I don't actually know what it's worth, but it, it's the first time for me I saw a copy of this game in a secondhand store. Uh, yeah. Not that I'm the greatest 3D fighting game fan, but yeah, I like fighting games, so why not? So yeah, that's it for now. We'll see what else we get this week. Catch you guys later. Bye. So how are you guys doing? 16-bit uh, team here. Yesterday it was Sunday and it was Toy Mania 2. Um, it was actually a for me, pretty decent. I made like 400 euros. Uh, I still owe Julian 325 for uh, that insane Dino Rider slot. So my debt was paid. I made a little profit. And I bought some stuff. First thing I bought was even like right away when the, when the fair started was like this bin um, with He-Man stuff for, I believe, 40 euros, I offered 30 euros, he accepted. He's also a watcher of the channel, so. Still need to pop this out here. The only thing, well, it's kind of dirty also, but here's a part that's broken. So, but for me personally, I'm gonna hot glue it. It's gonna be on the shelf. I'm not ever gonna play with it, so for me, it's fine. It's a little bit broken, it doesn't matter. Included were also like a, a Battle Cat and a Stalker. No, not Stalker, the, the horse, the good horse. I forgot its name. 
this uh, Bashosaurus, which needs some TLC. I need to, this button is stuck, so I need to screw it open and uh, check it out. And then some more bits and bobs from He-Man, some Dragon Blaster pieces. And like a broken uh, Thunder Punch He-Man. Oh yeah, and this piece. And there were some more like little bits and bobs, but thank you. 30 euros is a good deal for the slime pit. Then from my buddy Glenn, this was already decided in advance. He uh, had a huge lot of video games recently. There were some games in there that I wanted, some North and South. This is the USA version. And this one, oh, my favorite game series of all time, Space Harrier. This is the 3D game for the 3D glasses, which I don't have, but I have the game already. And then from the series Defender of the Planets, um, I believe his name is Quasar. I do have a shield from Defender of the Planets. So, this is uh, not his shield, it's uh, Quardom's shield or something. Ooh, it's a, ah, yeah, it's a little bit broken there, but it'll fit around his arm for sure. And it's uh, Defenders of the Planet shield, so that's pretty sweet, to be honest. Did the TV just crash? Yeah. So yeah, thanks Glenn for these. Uh, we did a trade, he took some stuff from me. Then, once again, from the same guy I bought uh, the Modu stuff from, I bought an intestine, an, an, an andouillette for the French. So it comes with these two uh, little monsters. It's from Ghostbusters, of course. And you can pop it out. There's also a blue one. I love the Ghostbusters, especially the bad guys. Not so much the Ghostbusters himself. And I got the police guy. That's a skeleton as well. Pretty nice. That was 10 euros for the both of us. So awesome. Then, and this is already my last purchase. Because I had to pay back Julian, I played it cool. This is a, a watch. Street wrist cruncher. It's like um, uh, not really a watch. It's like a thing to put your watch in. I don't know exactly how it works, but you can put your watch in there, like maybe a pop swatch or something, flick flack. I don't know, but it's freaking awesome. Still debating about opening it. I assume ah, it's from. It's from Taco Bell, so this was once in a day, like a giveaway at Taco Bell. And I also got, of course, the motorcycle is missing, but this is also one of those Ghostbusters. And one of my favorites, um, TMNT lines is like the Super Sentai. Uh, Japanese guys. I already have a couple of them, but they're always like missing pieces, broken. This is no different, but at least he has one hand, which won't stay stuck in there. So maybe I can switch this arm with one of the arms I got, because I already have the blue one, but here everything is broken off. And he also still has like the glow in the dark um, shield thingy on top. So that's pretty sweet. I, I I forgot, I think 15 in total for those three items. So, yeah, that's it from the Toy Mania Toy Fair. I really prefer going to toy fairs, to be honest, than to go to um, video game, retro video game fairs, because the people are more friendly and it's just nicer obtaining toys. Some, some things are really expensive, but in general, it's pretty fun to go there. So yeah, that was it for this vid. Catch you guys later.